Welcome back to River City Live. She's the influencer you want to follow when you're thinking of going somewhere. But she also literally wrote the book on staying in town. Amy West is with us of Amy West Travel. She wrote the book 100 Things to Do in Jacksonville Before You Die. And in that book, you'll find a lot of hidden gems. Hi, Amy. Happy New Year. Hey, Happy New Year. Thank you. So hidden gems in Jacksonville. What do you mean by that when you love but yes. should have? Places that have maybe like a underground following or they're the places that you don't see them marketed a lot, but if you bring them up and you talk to someone, they say, oh my gosh, I love that place. It's one of my favorite places in town. And one of the things that I found as I wrote the book is there would be people that lived here for 30 years who were finding these places they've never heard of before. That's what I consider a hidden gem. It's where you could have lived here forever, never heard of it, or every single person you know has been there. So it's one of those. Well, the list that you, you provided, just a short list, there are obviously so many more in the book, but the list that you provided starts with one, the Blue Jay Listening Room. Yes. And that one is actually featured in your book. Why do you love it so much? Yes. So the Blue Jay Listening Room is such a gem in Jacksonville. It's located in Jacksonville Beach. And similar to other more musical cities or more metropolitan cities like Nashville, New York, Austin, it is a listening room that is dedicated for you to come and listen to the music. So unlike a concert hall or a dance hall or a bar where there would be a lot of noise and the local artist that's playing, maybe you could hear, maybe you could not. This is really for you to just immerse yourself in the music. Music, listen to the artists, listen to what they have to say, listen to their stories, and it's such a great environment. It's very intimate. Right now they're doing half capacity, so it's even more intimate. And there is a bar there, so you can sip on some wine and just really feel the music. It's a great place to go on a date or with a small group of friends. The next one I have on this list that you provided is not in the book, but you say it should be, but you can't get everybody in the book. The Brew Hound. Yes, I had to edit some out, but actually I hadn't even fully discovered Brew Hound when I wrote the book, but you can best believe it'll be in 2.0. Brew Hound is this really fun dog park. It's located in Neptune Beach, which is actually happens to be like a mile from my home. And we just started taking our little mini schnauzer there, but you actually don't need a dog to go there because it's also a bar. So if you just love animals or you love people who love animals, Brewhound is an incredible place to go. They have this really cool pavilion. It seems like something out of like Oregon or Colorado. And then the entire dog park is covered in AstroTurf. So it never gets muddy or dirty. And you just go out and hang out with cool people. And it's become our most favorite place to hang out and meet new people with cool stories. So it's, definitely a must visit. It's very easy to start start a conversation when this is really great. A Congre natural icebreaker. <laughs> You're right. It's such an icebreaker. Um, Congre and Penn is in the book. Yes, I fell in love with Congaree and Penn. I'm a country girl at heart. My dad owns a farm. So finding farmland like that in Jacksonville where you can go and visit and that has dedicated space for visitors to tour, to see the animals, and more, more importantly, to eat is just fantastic. It's a great setting. They have a, a wonderful story and you can actually take a sunset cruise on a tractor. You can go on a hike with a goat and they even have dog days out there. So it's, it's a must visit if you haven't been I just love it there and I'm so intrigued by this one sound bath Yes. So again, another one to add in on the 2.0 sound bath. This is a really cool concept. And my friend Diana does this and you'll see this in other markets again, like California and other places. So it's really cool that Jacksonville has it. It's a form of meditation and a form of healing. So the vibrations that come from these bowls that they use, they're, they're these singing bowls. They create these atmospheric sounds that just allow you to go into a different place in your, your brain. It helps you calm down. Down and it helps you heal and meditate. So if you're looking to set new resolutions for the year or new goals, this is a great place to start. If you just need some healing, don't we all after last year? Another uh, another great thing to do and it's super fun. If you have like a girls night and you want to do something um, original, this is just a really great thing. They have full moon events and um, go to Sound Bath Jacks and check that out because I just think it's such an incredible experience and very unique. Oh, we definitely will. And Amy, we don't want you to go anywhere either. We want to speak more with you and make sure everybody knows where to find you as well at amywesttravel.com. And we're going to talk more about the book and, and places to, uh, to go on one tank of gas. That's all yes. coming up. But right now, we are going to take a little break and be right back with more River City Live. All right.